Alright, we're talking about evaporative coolers again today, and I'm going to show you how to how to set up a bleed off valve on a cooler so that you're not wasting all kinds of water and uh, you're using it effectively. Um, most cooler pumps have a bleed off valve there, um, but most of them have a uh, plastic behind it as well, so you're going to have to drill that out. So I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But you can do this for, uh, really cheap and really easy. So you're going to look for the cap on your cooler. Um, some of them are bigger than others. Mine is a uh, Mine is about a 5 16 3 8 hose will fit over it and it could be clamped, but uh, this here is 5 16 vinyl hose and all I've got is a little hose clamp there. That's pretty much all you need for the pump end of it. And on the other end we're just going to use standard quarter inch PEX or uh, irrigation line, uh, ice maker tubing, pretty much any quarter inch PEX will work. Um, they're all the same. There's no difference. You can go to the irrigation aisle of your home home improvement store, pick up the cheap black stuff. Uh, that's usually the cheapest way to go. Um, it's all quarter inch pecs and it'll work. And basically uh, all we're going to do is uh, put our vinyl tube on there, stick the quarter inch tube in there, and then I'll show you how to dress the other end of the vinyl tubing or the pecs tubing later. But uh, when it comes down to it, most uh, most coolers actually don't have this drilled through and uh, I think they do that for two reasons. The first being you can choose which size drill bit you want to use. So you could use like a really really small drill bit and just drill a small hole through that that uh, I don't know dummy dummy plug in there. Um, I went ahead and drilled it all the way out using uh, almost a quarter inch I don't know what size that is. It's almost a quarter inch uh, but you can drill it out all the way or just use a small hole, but we're actually going to control flow on the other end and The main reason people don't really use these is because they just put put out way too much water You end up wasting all kinds of water coming out at the end of this hose So you have to regulate the amount of water coming out and you can either do that by drilling a really small hole here Or what we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, sprinkler end on the other side of the hose And we're just going to bleed it off about once a month or once a week Okay, so I went ahead and I already drilled this out. I did that in preparation for this video. So that is free flowing. You're going to take your cap off. And then we're going to take take our 5 16 vinyl tubing. If you're not sure what size it is, um, you can either pick up both 3 8 and uh, uh, 5 16 Pick up a piece of both. Um, every cooler's motor is going to be, or every cooler pump is going to be kind of different. So mine is 5 16 and 5 16 fits on there just as tight as the cap did. So we don't even have to worry about clamping that. These pumps don't put out a lot of PSI. It's it's all, uh, all volume. They do volume, not PSI. And then we're just going to stick our quarter inch hose in there and just the little bit I've cinched down uh, the little bit I've cinched down that hose clamp, it's already tight in there. But we're going to cinch it down a little bit more. And might as well take it all the way in there. There we go. So, I had that 5 16 hose lying around so it didn't cost me anything. I had the hose clamp lying around, that didn't cost me anything, and I've always got quarter inch sprinkler line lying around, so this whole thing did not cost me anything, and it's going to save me a whole lot of calcium buildup and trouble down the line. So I'm going to pause it and show you how I dress the other side of the hose. Alright, this is the other end. All I simply did is insert a uh, adjustable flow uh, irrigation tip on it. That's the great thing about using irrigation line, is that uh, you could connect it to any existing watering system you have, or do like I did and just insert uh, one of these adjustable flow irrigation lines. And you could run that into a potted plant and water whenever you need water. Um, you probably want to do it about once a week, but you can do it as often as you like. Um, pretty much, you want to do it at least once a month uh, but once a week is good. Basically, you want to run it for about an hour just to exchange all the water in the cooler. 
Um, that's basically all you're doing is getting all that calcium laden water out of the cooler. And uh, that's great for watering plants. Uh, you could fill up a bucket and use it for whatever, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, don't let that water go to waste. That's one of the big problems and one of the reasons a lot of people don't use the by bypass or bleed off valve is because it seems like you're wasting a lot of water. But if you, if you have it shut off, there it is. Most of the time it's just going to sit there off, but once a week I'll come out here, I'll turn it on, I'll water my plant, and uh, the plant will be happy, the cooler will last a lot longer, I won't get calcium deposits all over the place. Um, pretty much the best fix you can do. Uh, and that's a 10 cent piece right there. You can get a bag of those for like two bucks at the hardware store. I'll put links to uh, the hose, the quarter inch pecs, and the vinyl hose and the hose clamps. I'll put links to all that down in the description below. But be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more great videos.